Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us today. I'm Harry Urban, publisher of FDMC and Woodworking Network, and I welcome you to our webinar titled Exploring New Woodworking Technology from Taiwan. Today's webinar is organized by the Bureau of Foreign Trade and implemented by the Taiwan External Trade Development Council, and we thank them for making this happen. Now, in this webinar, we have several videos. Uh, we have principals from four Taiwanese woodworking machinery companies, Innovator, Kuang Yong, Jun Shao, and OAV, and they'll discuss how their latest technologies can provide solutions to current woodworking challenges. And we're also gonna hear from two companies that are very well known in the US industry, Anderson and Liedermack. Before we get started, a little housekeeping. Uh, we encourage you to ask questions and we'll forward them to the presenters um, in, in plenty of time to get some answers. And um, also, most importantly, there's a quick survey at the very end of this webinar. And uh, please stay on the webcast. When the, when the webinar ends, um, the, the survey will pop up and uh, I would love it if you would uh, fill out that survey. And finally, this survey will be recorded and will be available within 24 hours and uh, we'll also forward that link to you so you can share it with your colleagues or watch it again. So um, we've got a lot of video to go through today and it's really interesting technology. And uh, our first presentation this afternoon is by Ian Chang, the general manager of Innovator, and he's going to discuss the company's box packaging equipment and the advantages of a customized packaging solution. So we can please get that first video going. How flexible box packaging can help you achieve carbon neutral and reduce the shipping cost. Hello everyone, my name is Yin Chen. I am the general manager of the Innovator Machineries. Thanks for having me here today. I would like to take this opportunity to share some thoughts of common issues or common problems which many manufacturers may be facing nowadays. For the last 10 years, I have visited many factories and I can see the trend that there are more and more demands on the custom-made products. And most of the factories are seeking to streamline their production process in order to increase their efficiency and at the same time reduce their production cost. However, I have also noticed that many of the factories are struggling with their production package. One of the reasons that, as I mentioned earlier, the market tendency shows that the demand of the custom-made products is increasing in almost every industry, such as building materials, furniture, and generally in automotive industry. Traditional bus manufacturer requires certain minimum order quantity as they receive our orders. In other words, we have to order hundreds, if not thousands, of carton boxes at one time to pack our products. As a result, they may end up with lots of boxes left in our stock which may not be used in a long time. By the time we need that, those inventory boxes can be difficult to find or even damaged. In many circumstances, it also requires lots of the space to storage those carton boxes. The second common issue is that with increasing demand for e-commerce and online shopping business, especially during the COVID pandemic period, many of them are facing problems of finding proper packaging material to pack their products. It results in many, many over-packaging situations. For example, every time when I receive a parcel from online shopping, I often find that it comes with lots of packing feeders, such as peanuts or air pillows. And most of us do not know how to deal with or how to recycle those feeders waste rather than just throw it into the garbage bins. This kind of over-packaging situation will compress the loading capacity of the shipping vehicle, and of course increase the shipping costs. Another big problem created by this overpackaging is that this would generate air pollution, which is definitely no good for our global environment and no good for the next generation. With seeing this demand, we have developed a we call just-in-time packing solution, which can help our customer to make their own boxes of any size at any time in a very efficient way. So how to do this? With our box making machine, first customer no longer need to stock various size of boxes 
Instead, they only need a few basic grades of carbon sheets. As a result, the inventory buses management can be very easy and simple, which can also reduce the handling time and the warehouse space. Secondly, because we can always pack our product with the right size of the boxes coming from our box making machines, we can avoid lots of packing failures. This means that more bars can be fit on the shipping vehicles and airplanes, uh, reduce the shipping cost, and of course, consume much, much less on the necessary field. A better environment will be provided for our next generation. We have many applications which can use our bus making machines, such as uh, the furniture industry, automotive industry, and of course, the e-commerce online shopping business. I would like to present you a short video which shows you how easy and simple the machine works. So here from the videos, uh, you can see the operator is uh, first selecting the boxes that we uh, want to pack it. And, uh, and punch the, the length, the width and height, the dimension of the item that you want to pack it uh, into the machines. And the machine will automatically position in the longitudinal knife, uh, which will cut and crease in uh, the carbons. The later machine will start uh, to produce the box that we want in about 15 seconds. Uh, you will be able to receive the box that you wanted. Uh, beside the touch screen, you can also use we call the sticker ruler scanning systems, which you can simply uh, scan the edge of the product that you want to pack it. Then data will be recorded and automatically transferred into the machines. There are as many as 12 uh, different widths of what we call the fanfold magazines carbon, which will help the customer to minimize the raw material waste and to gain the maximum yield out of the carbons. So machine will select automatically the best width of the raw material to produce the box that we needed. Uh, I would like to emphasize the cutting brace was made out of the special steels, which can be used for a longer, longer time. So in short, uh, with our box machines, it will help you to minimize your warehouse management you can produce your own box at any time, any size in a very efficient way. You also help our environment just to avoid those unnecessary uh, air pillows and peanuts, uh, which will be very good for our next generation. For the dimension input systems, we have uh, several ways we can do that. You can manually uh, punch the screen, uh, manually uh, input punch the screens. Uh, you can also have what we call the 3D dimensioning systems. Uh, you can have the ruler sticker scanning systems. You can even scan the barcode. Uh, we, we are able to also integrate it uh, with uh, your internal management systems just to receive the CSV file from your systems. Our next goal is to continuously develop in this box making machine to make more user friendly and try to integrate it with customer internal management systems, such as ERP, which is the enterprise resources planning and the warehouse management systems. As a result, they can not only enjoy the benefit brought by this bus making machine, but also help them to streamline warehouse management. Finally, I would like to uh, introduce again our company as Innovator Machineries. Uh, the company was founded in 2002. We have uh, currently uh, 40 employees. Beside the bus making machine, we are also specialized in uh, veneer processing equipment uh, for the last two decades. Uh, we have sold more than uh, 1,000 units of the equipment to over 40 countries worldwide. So for more information, you can always log on our website at the www.innovatormachinery.com. You can find videos, photos, and other technical documents. Uh, you are more than welcome to send us an email to service uh, at innovatormachinery.com. Our service team is always here to help you. 
So thank you for having me today again, and uh, I will hope you to see you soon. Bye bye. Well, thank you, Ian, for that presentation, and thank you to uh, Innovator. Our next presenter is Mike Liu. He's a mechanical engineer with Kwang Young, and Mike is going to discuss the company's time and labor-saving, highly automated, automated rip saw technology. If you need rip saws, just ask Kwang Young. Hello, everyone. My name is Mike Liu from Kwang Young Machinery. Today, I'm here to introduce you to our movable rip saws, the MRS340, M2, plus joystick and cross in feed, and how it can help you reduce nearly half of the working time and get a much precise cut with very simple steps. The traditional single rip saws. Single rip saws can only do one side edging at a time. The board has to be sent back by another worker for the other side edging. Manually measuring the board and adjusting the fans is also required before ripping. To finish the processing of one single board would take much time to send the board back and forth for ripping. The productivity is very low since you are ripping with one single blade at one time. It takes a lot of plant area and labor cost when you are using many machines and workers to reach the required productivity. The single rip saw can deal only one size or one side edging at a time, which is not efficient at all. Here's a short video of single rip saw operating situation. MRS340 M2 plus joystick and cross in feed. The benefits of this machine are 1. Time saving, effort saving, and labor saving. 2. It's combining single rip saw and gang rip saw advantages. 3. It's cross in feed plus joystick. And now let's see how the machine works.
One, time saving, effort saving, and labor saving. You can feed the single board in for both side edging and rip in the required width at one time. The operator can move the saw blades, change sizes, and feed the board in with the joystick. The fans on the infeed table can also be adjusted by the joystick for edging. An ASET's pneumatic pressure system provides outstanding stability during ripping and feeding smoothly. The movable ripsaw can save one worker compared to a single ripsaw with the same productivity. The joysticks work like this. Two, combining advantages of single ripsaw and gang ripsaw. The rib boards can be panel joined directly and reach the minimum waist as a single ripsaw does. And make multiple sizes and high productivity as gang ripsaw does. There are two movable blades that you can adjust for the ripping sizes required. You can also use the machine as a gang rip saw by just adding coders and saw blades to the saw arbor. One movable rip saw can replace three single rip saws, and many sizes in one single board can be completed at once. Random sizes or list switching is very easy. Three, cross in fee plus joystick. The ripping position laser line is very clear and convenient with joystick adjusting to avoid wood knots and gain the best yield. The board positioning saves the effort by using the joystick to move the board on the cross in fee table. Dimensions can be preset on the touch screen. You can read the board with the cut list dimensions or random width. A user-friendly color touchscreen can enter sizes, 
control fee speed, and set basic parameters. Icon guidance make it easy to identify and operate for the operator. The saw is equipped with four sets of um, anti-kickback fingers, and the operator feeds the board in from the side, making it safer during feeding. The cut list is up to 10 sets for different customer order switching, USB port connecting for software upgrading and troubleshoots are also available. As part of the machinery sales, local services are the keys, and Kuangyong offers a long-established local services in North America. Kuangyong has been a woodworking machinery company in Taiwan for more than 60 years. However, we have been cooperating with an American company for over 30 years. The company has sales representatives in North America that provides product information and offers the suitable machine for the customer. They also provide technical support about machines to give solutions. Services before and after sales, including machine setups, training, and maintenance can keep your equipment operating at a high level, producing quality products. All right, that's all for my presentation today. Thanks for watching. Well, thanks, Mike, and thanks, Kwang Young. Our next presenter is Jason Shu. He's a mechanical engineer with Jun Shao Machinery, and Jason is going to discuss the company's top and bottom sanding system for a greatly increased productivity. Hello everyone, my name is Jason, the sales manager of Zhenxiao Machinery. In today's topic, I'm going to tell you a better sanding combination lines that not only can do top and the bottom sanding, saving you 30% of working time, but also provide a better integration to your working manufacturers. Zhenxiao Machinery Company has been in woodworking business for 40 years. We have sold sanders across the world and stand as a leading manufacturer of white belt sanders in Taiwan. We produce a full range of sanders from light to heavy duty. Zhenxiao has always instant in providing high quality products and such a better way to upgrade our products in order to satisfy customers' needs. Let's begin our topic today. During the past years, labor costs were, not, were a big advantage in China, Vietnam, and other countries in Asia. And they were able to offer huge numbers of laborers for all industries manufactured. However, this situation has been changed, especially for furniture industry. Most of factories now need more and more laborers especially sanding processes, required even more time and workers to match with the more customized demand. As we found that the machines are standardly equipped with unit sanding from above. If the bottom side of the workpiece is to be sanded, the workpiece needs to be turned and the sanding machine has to go through the from the top. Basically, the factory has two methods to do it, using one or two laborers to turn over the workpiece, or using a turnover machine between the two sanders. According to feedback of customers, these two ways are slow and low efficiency. 
especially the turnover machines, may cause the stock with panels and the make the pass line started. Moreover, the turnover machines is expensive, slow working, and take up more space. When you install these machines in the pass lines, the turnover machine just flip it upside down when the panel goes through it every time. Can you imagine how slow it is? Top sanding machines are considerably more used with re regard to button sanding machines. Button sanders are mainly used to form a complete sanding line with top sanding machines. In this way, work pieces is sanded both on the bottom and the top side in just the one pass, which will yield important savings in labor and production costs. In order to in ensure a constant working height, the top sanding machines in the sanding line is equipped with an inline system. Moreover, a frequency controlled feed provides for a feed speed on both machines. The sanding line is operated from one central working station. Therefore, the first machine has been provided with a central controlled panel so that operation can be performed in any required positions. It's also possible to operate the sanding lines from a separate desk control. Furthermore, common practice is that the bottom sanding machines is placed as the first machines in the sanding lines when sanding work pieces of which their top service is the best site. It can immediately be seen whether the surface has been sanded correctly after leaving the sanding lines. Of course, it is possible to commission the top sanders as the first machines. This is mainly applied when sanding small work pieces. In more than 95% of cases, our customers relied on our top and bottom sanders. But there are situations where a dedicated button only sanding solutions will make sense by elegantly solving a problem will note to product plant planners. In the production line, processing a work pieces from broad, if possible, is usually much easier to do than having to flip it upside down. In such situations, a button sanders makes all the difference and usually saves a lot of effort as well as money. And since these are basically the same technology as our regular top sanding machines, they can be equipped with almost all of the same sanding technology. This machine is the most advanced solution currently available on the market for woodworking. Sanding, surface fiber removal, and the precision finishing of the workpiece can all be performed with one single person in the machines. Arrangement of single piece sanding machines respectively in one line through the training from which the formal standard sanders, the work pieces from below and the second one from above. Since we introduced the one cup a button and the top sanding white bell sanders in a double sided sanding lines, the factory is able to increase production efficiency and save labor costs. The new top and the button calibration and the sanding lines with lower and up units has been designed for large companies in the woodworking sector that want to maximize productivity without compromising quality. When work pieces come out from the first button sanders, pass the command table and go through top sander during the process, this is not any waste of time and stop cost it. It can increase around 30% efficiency. A single employee is enough for feeding the sanders. Integrating the system into automatic production lines works 
for this list. That's two double-sided processes. Most sending tasks can be done in just the one pass, which greatly improves efficiency and saves a lot of time. Another advantage of our top button series of machines is the compact space requirements, which further facilitates integration into industry production lines. All of the technology necessary is incorporated within the machine bodies. Sending is about providing a good quality finishing to your woodworking products. And we generally not only focus on providing the best sanding performance, but we are always thinking about how to make it more beautiful, faster, and easier. If you are looking for a good sanding result, we welcome you to check with Zhenxiao Machinery. Thank you. Thanks, Jason. And thanks to John Shao for that presentation. Our fourth presenter is Ryan Ackhurst. He's the Vice President of Cantech America. Ryan will discuss OAV edge banders, including their capabilities to handle solid wood, ed, solid wood edge banding and other new materials. This company has been importing woodworking equipment from Taiwan for more than 40 years. Your dream for future manufacture is now being realized. This is the durability the satisfaction of simplicity and reliability. Yeah, so thank you very much for taking the time to, to join with us today. Uh, my name is Ryan Ackerst. I'm the Vice President of Cantic America. Um, today we're going to discuss with you how OEV and, and our company Cantec have worked together to provide edge banding solutions to the ever-changing cabinet market. OEV was started in uh, 1978 uh, by Mr. Mike Liu. Uh, they operate uh, two manufacturing facilities in Taiwan and export over 99% of their products worldwide. Uh, they have uh, over 120 dealers uh, throughout the world and employ now over 200 people in their manufacturing plant. Um, they produce mainly band saws, uh, dust collectors, edge banders, sliding table saws. Um, OIV's always had a strong uh, focus on product design and after sales service. Um, OAV fully understands the importance of servicing their customers really in, in order to ensure their equipment is running optimally. Uh, they continue to update their machines and, and are always focused on product development. They're always really looking forward. Um, our company Cantech is a uh, wholly owned subsidiary of a company called Accurst Machinery, which is a fourth generation family business which was established in uh, 1938. Uh, Ackers established the Cantec brand in order to deliver quality products uh, at more economical price point. Uh, we operate out of six facilities across North America and recently just opened a, a new branch in, uh, in the Los Angeles area. For nearly 40 years, we've been importing equipment from Taiwan. Um, we work with uh, leading manufacturers like Anderson, and um, leader Mac as well. Uh, so over the past four decades, we've really seen a huge growth in woodworking equipment from Taiwan, uh, sort of from its infancy stage, all the way to where these companies are now leading manufacturers in our field. So today I'm gonna to introduce you to one of our new machines that we're gonna be unveiling at the IWF show uh, coming up in Atlanta in August. And uh, this, this machine is our model MX370PW. Um, this machine was really designed to, out of the need from our customers. So they, they came to us with a, uh, a want on the machine that we did previously didn't have and we were able to, um, make a new model and add this feature to the, to the machine to even make it more viable for the client. And the cabinet industry is changing all the time. So you notice that there's new evolutions in, um, in equipment to react to these uh, changing needs. The MX370PW is, is, um, 
is an evolution of our previous model, which was just the MX370P. And, and the big difference here between the two machines now is that this has what's called a strip feed magazine. Uh, we had customers that were wanting to apply uh, wood edge banding um, to their panels. And you could do it on the previous model, but you'd have to insert a single strip at a time. And that was time consuming and uh, wasn't really viable. Uh, the production would have been too slow. So our team uh, at OEV and, and through Cantec um, developed a, a new feature, which is called a strip feed magazine so that we can apply these wooden strips as you're seeing here in, in the photo. Uh, the strip feed magazine, it comes right after the pre-milling units, which is uh, here on the left side of your screen. Uh, there's a cover there showing uh, the, the diamond pre-milling cutters, which we'll explain to you a little bit later. But <clears throat> what you can do now is you can actually place a, a bank of wooden strips into the machine all together. And basically there's a pneumatic cylinder, which will press up against uh, the material and push it into uh, what's called a spiked roller, um, which is here. And what, what will happen is, is as you feed material into the machine, uh, the spiked roller will pick up one of the edge bandings and will feed it into the machine. And as then it'll be, uh, glue will be applied to the edge of the panel and uh, this wooden edge will be pressed on. Um, so as, as mentioned previously, this would be uh, a manual process where you'd actually have to insert one at a time. And so now what we can do is the customer can have full production and be able to uh, feed one strip after another in order to keep up with their demand. So what are the real advantages of, of um, solid wood edge banding is uh, it's a lot easier to to match the edge banding to the plywood panel. So when you stain it, um, then uh, everything is going to be a uniform color. Uh, also, the solid wood edge banding is extremely durable. And if damaged, it can be re resurfaced again um, and restained. Uh, the one issue with, as mentioned before, like doing this process manually is very slow and you need to typically clamp the edge banding on and wait for it to dry and then manually trim everything. We're doing it on an automatic edge bander like our 370PW is highly efficient and uh, it doesn't take nearly as much time. In addition, um, as, as mentioned with the market for panel and, and edge banding has really changed a lot over the past five years. We're seeing new materials like acrylic and, and uh, different wood grain uh, laminates and such that uh, we have never seen before. And uh, also high gloss material is, is extremely popular in, indoors. So um, now, the, you know, as these materials come out, it's like the machinery side of things needs to address it and how to, how to apply these uh, most efficiently. One of the things we've developed on our on our machines is what we call our quick change glue pot. And so within a matter of under two minutes, you can actually take the glue pot completely out of the machine and install a second glue pot. Uh, we do sell them as an option. You can purchase more than one. And what this allows is the operator to have glue in the different colored glues. Um, so if they want to have a clear and say a color, uh, well, they can change that out in minutes and, and uh, they can better match the glue to the panel. And so you're really seeing that with these high-end surfaces is that you're really trying to eliminate that viewable, visible glue joint. So uh, this allows us uh, very easily to just adapt our uh, glue color to the type of material being, uh, to being used. In addition, um, we have an optional, well, I guess the, the, the pre-milling uh, section here uh, is uh, what it does, it'll actually mill the edge of the panel prior to applying glue to it. So one thing we can do with this, we can ensure that the quality of the panel is perfect. Um, so there's no chipping, there's, uh, and it's just fr freshly machined, and we're, we're sure that it's perpendicular. So when we go and apply glue to it, 
we're really trying to minimize that visible glue joint. And so this is one way of, of achieving that. Um, so, and then also another feature we have is, is our corner rounding unit, which um, this will actually finish the ends of the material. So what you'll see is when we're doing with radius material, like one mil, two mil or three mil, um, when you, if you were just to machine the ends with a, with a blade, uh, it'd be square. So what we're trying to do is match that radius profile from the top and bottom and then doing that on the end. So this will do it automatically. And for those materials like acrylic, especially we'd recommend our optional diamond cutters where they're just gonna, acrylic can be very abrasive and hard on tooling. So the, the diamond really holds up well with the, uh, with the um, acrylic material. So I'm just going to play a quick video for you, um, showing you the machine in operation so you can see all the different functions. And uh, particularly, you'll see at the beginning the um, strip feed magazine feeding the solid wood strips. see that the uh, MX370 PW is a highly flexible edge banding solution for the client who's looking for versatility and wants to apply a wide range of, of different materials uh, to their panel. So we're going to be featuring this machine at the upcoming IWF show in Atlanta. Uh, our booth number is B7136, so please come by and see Cantec and OEV, and we look forward to seeing you there. Thanks, Ryan. And, you know, Ryan mentioned IWF, and I'd like to point out that uh, there will be several uh, manufacturers from Taiwan uh, that will be showing their wares and machinery at uh, IWF begins August 23rd to the 26th. The Taiwan Woodworking Machinery Association will have a booth called BC Level 1, uh, BC 809. So be sure to check that out um, when you go to IWF. And um, our fourth presenter, I'm sorry, now we're gonna hear from a few words from Tommy Lee, the general manager of Anderson Machinery, which specializes specializes in three to five axis routers and customized CNC systems. Anderson, we focus on the processing of the different material in the variety industry. Hence, we have the combined experience and this will be a strength of ability for the customized solution. Anderson was founded in 1972, operating globally with the R&D manufacturing and sales service of 3 to 5 axis 
CNC router to aluminum and the composite material fixation application for many industries such as walking, aerospace, yard building, public construction, railways, automobiles. Additionally, we also represent the sales of the extension products such as MFC panel, machining tool bits, and saw brakes. In total, we have 11 subsidiary and 7 manufacturer sites around the world with over 800 employees. Customized requirements are almost a daily topic in Anderson. Optimize's goal is to provide customers with the full range of solutions. From the single machine sales to the integrated solution of automated intelligent systems, approximately half of the Anderson sales are from the standard product and another half are from the customized product. From the perspective of the current market trend, the flexible capability of the product system will be the best combination for the future customer investment. Anderson is not only a manufacturer to offer the machine. Annual R&D investments hold Anderson as a leader position in the business. A major portion is to develop Anderson HMI to operate machine friendly and even more flexible for the customer to define the easiest access for the daily operation. In the past year, we have several projects for the cabinet furniture integrate with the storage system. Furthermore, to the integrate machine software with ERP and MES, in order to help the customer for smart upgrading their current product. To improve the quality is our daily task. We work with the customer closely to understand why the customer need to be upgraded. How is the best balance for them? We also share the experience from another successful project to avoid the possible disadvantage. We see every customer as our core partners. Anderson worth it for you to understand more. When you get serious, please don't hesitate to contact us. We can do more for you. Thanks, Tommy. Our next, our next last presenter is Michael Chang, the CEO of LeaderMac, and LeaderMac is a leading manufacturer of molders and solid wood machining systems. This kind of system, right, is very simple. You just use your forklift and then the, to put your whole package of wood into the addition. So he automatically feeding the work pieces through a machine. And then through the machine, after the machine, we, you will still use it. Uh, you can monitor it, the A level or B level. So this whole system, before they had to use the A people in production, right now just only two people. Our suggestion, right, is uh, customization and also automation, which is our focus on the last five years, especially on the automation. For the whole line system, right, we are developing this system because of uh, right now developing country is lacking of manpower. So we have uh, introduced last year is uh, industrial 4.0 for the floating line. And then uh, you can use your iPhone, iPad or laptop to monitor your production situation, uh, which I want to promote in the developing country, which is like Japan, Korea, Taiwan, and America or Europe.
customization of a product right now is almost 50-50. So always uh, we need to customer special need uh, need something we, we can modify for them. This is also our advantage. This year we are developing a digital promotion system, digital manufacturing system, digital management system. And so we can take easy and then have a time to develop in these three systems. For the OEM product, right, is depend on the company of Taiwan. And then because of the Taiwanese company is focused on the manufacturing the machine, they are lack of the, the provision skill. So they can make a good machine, depend on the good brand to develop in. So right now it's going to get important for a Taiwanese product, OEM for the major brand around the world. Taiwanese uh, manufacturing right, is uh, very strong on the product, but uh, Taiwanese uh, working manufacturing is a lack of the promotion skill. And of course, uh, if uh, they can have another brand to promotion their product, depending on the OEM or OBDM, which is the plus for uh, Taiwanese manufacturing. Welcome to visit Wood Taiwan Show. Thanks everybody for um, those presentations uh, on behalf of Woodworking Network. Thank you very much for our presenters' uh, participation. And um, also a special thank you to the Taiwan Ministry of Economic Affairs and the Taiwan External Trade Development Council for helping make this webcast happen. Um, just a few more comments here. Um, Wood Taiwan is happening April 20, April 23rd. Uh, 2023. Um, unfortunately, the show was uh, had to go virtual the last couple of years, but um, it's a great event. I've been to that in the past and uh, encourage you to consider that. It's, it's great uh, to check out the latest Taiwanese woodworking machinery as well as uh, accessories, cabinet hardware and hand tools. A reminder again about IWF happening in just a couple of weeks and you'll be able to see a lot of Taiwanese equipment there. Um, including that from uh, those from our presenters here today. And then finally, uh, at the bottom of this slide is um, an exhibition coming up September 15th to the 18th in Taichung, Taiwan, the Taiwan Wood Innovation Application Exhibition and Wood Industry Forum. Um, so that wraps up this webinar. Um, please stay on, stay on though. As soon as this webinar ends, you'll be uh, directed to a short survey and it would be great if you would uh, fill that out and let our uh, sponsors know uh, exactly how you felt about this webinar and also any other uh, technological questions you may have. Um, please don't hesitate to reach out to them. Um, so again, thanks to everybody for your participation. Um, this webinar will be uh, recorded, has been recorded and uh, will be distributed to you as soon as possible. And uh, again, thanks everybody. And with that, I say so long.